Hey everybody, it's Monday, March 24th, um, and I've been, people have been asking me to do an update. I am back home at my house in Kauai, um, recovering nicely, just came back from the hospital to get an x-ray taken uh, so that my doctor can see it. I actually got to see my titanium that was in there, so in my ribs. Just been real thankful uh, at how rapidly I'm healing and just uh, how God's been so faithful through everything. I guess if you'd ask me uh, if I could describe in one word, it won't stop at one word, but how I, how I am, I would say to describe me right now, that would be that word thankful. I have so much to be thankful for. Uh, going through this whole situation is extremely challenging and difficult as far as the fact of the loss of my son who we all so dearly love. It's been a blessing to see how many people's lives that he touched. Uh, Sammy gospel seeds, sowing seeds of love everywhere he went. Now, one great thing about love, right, is love never fails, so you can't stop love. So the fact that his life goes on forever and eternity with my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is such a blessing. The fact that he knew him very well is brings such a peace and a comfort. And the fact that God had rescued me from a life of sin and shame that I had lived in, and the reality of that he set my feet upon the rock and, and that I live for him. I'm so obsessed with God. I'm so in love with God. And the reason I'm so in love with God is because it took me a long time to realize that he first loved me. It's that God first loved us that helps us to determine that we love him when we realize his love for us. And that love never fails. God always loves continually. Doesn't even desire to punish the wicked. So I'm glad that God was happy that when my life turned and came back of him to him, came back to him, and he welcomed me with me. Bleh, I'm having trouble today. And he welcomed we, me with open arms. So I just am so thankful uh, for all that God has done, all that he's going to do. I'm thankful that he's patient and long-suffering, doesn't even desire that anyone perish. So that's why there's this sense of urgency right now that I have in my life. My son is gone, uh, but he's not forgotten. Uh, and so in honor of his life and in honor of the reality of the passion that God has for the for people and to see souls saved. That's my prayer. That's my, my passion right now is to try to share Jesus with someone every single day. So I just want to, can't wait till I get better so I can get back out in the streets and really just begin to preach the gospel with my life lived everywhere I go and just encourage everyone to just, let's really get this thing going on, man. Let's, life is short. There's no certainties out there. Man, who knows the day nor hour when our life may be even required of us. So let's live for love. Let's live for God. Let's just really embrace this gospel and love people everywhere we go. I just want to bless everyone today. I just pray a blessing over each and every one that you would just really embrace the reality of who Jesus Jesus is, who he created you to be, and let's not walk around so offended by every little thing in life that tends to tends to hurt. Man, love takes no account of the suffered wrong. Love isn't easily offended. Love only thinks the best. So remember that God loves you. You've been forgiven of all your sins, man. So let us not hold anything against anyone. Let's walk in love. Let's become love. Let's love the hell out of someone every day. Hey, bless you guys.